She is. She's waiting for you. Uh. Come on. Through here. Let's read the menu. You're not like all others here. You're not mean. Oh, kid. Just wait till you get to know me. Glory's mother, Hope, was a concubine to Dr. Dementis, later the Quarter of Morton Joe. Glory spent her first years among these brutal gangs, learned to survive. Glory still has a human child's outlook to a certain extent. Uh, mother and child is up on the holding cells of gut gash. Inherited her mother's ability to read human behavior and can spot whether a human means her harm, is lying, or can be a potential ally. Also a whiz kid for digging up ancient treasure. That's pretty cool. You see, in most games, they introduce the child character to you early so that you can develop a bond with them so that when things endanger them later on, it inspires you to protect them, a la Last of Us or Walking Dead. Here, we're meeting her at like the two-thirds mark of the story mode, or even three-quarters. And I'm hoping I don't have to walk very far with her because this is actually kind of a slow, tedious process. Yep, there we go. I appreciate you bringing me a car. Stay here. I'll stay. Now he did the big guy. I can use here. Oh, no, I can still hit him. The mini weapon is going to help me out because it stuns him automatically. And then, beat him to death with your gun. Not having it. I can't with him watching during all that. more what about everybody are they gone come on that's our ride please let us go try not to touch any of the spikes I'm pretty sure there's no cure for tetanus out here You drive. Just gonna take a quick drink before it's time to head out.
Beautiful. You and me? You and me? Yes. Back to Mama? Yes. Ooh, I think actually handles really well. I'm not used to it. Yep, here comes the fight. The old man with the star. Oh, apparently not. He your papa. He was an old man. And he was friend to me. No daddy. Why does your mama stay behind? Only me and the thin man could get out of the cage. Using the fan, okay. The smile. Why the undertaker? Mama had a scratchy map. A safe place with food. The one we came, the buzzer was already there. Our man was killed. You did good. You survived. Oh, good. Oh, we can drop mines? Interesting. I'm gonna keep doing this all day. It's actually kind of fun, even though I can't actually see the aftermath of my results. Math of my results that doesn't make any sense, Rocky. Come on, get it together. Oh, come on, that'll do it. Did I get him. I got him. Oh yeah, I guess because this area doesn't actually have a stronghold, I don't get the uh, the cleanup crew benefit. Gas Town is not in any way safe. That's just the way it is. Hate to break this to you, Glory. Nowhere is safe. Oh, shit. The hell just blew up behind me. So, kid, uh, what do you do for fun? Do they have Pokemon cards in the post apocalypse? No. Oh, there we go. Why? You can be three. You can be father. No. I travel a lot. Kid is very quick to get attached to the first father figure that shows up. Actually, kind of sad. Yep, just hang out here in this room full of skulls. That's great for the kid. Max does not stay a second longer than he has to. Yeah, nothing holding me back from leaving the treasured place. Where the fuck is my car? There. I thought I saw a, a button. Oh yeah, that mission. You know what? I might not even do that mission. Gone. Where is he? Where's the car? Hey! That was a terrible mistake. 
Mark's back. Where is he? Where is the car? I don't know. I heard he said he was taken to where it was born. He said he cared about it. He raged about that wagon like it was raging about some fine dame. The ship. You let him go. No. You let this happen. That's no affair of mine. Yeah, I'm telling you, Max will kick your ass whether or not you deserve it. your boss's machine. It's yours. Take what you need. Your machine is gone. You were betrayed. So what? Stay with us. Make a life. When are you going to have another chance? Lady, you barely know this guy. Our contract is done. Hey. It's a present. For you. That thing's gonna break in like 10 seconds. Again, this Fury Road was so good about making strong female characters. And yet, this game, all the female characters are either completely dependent upon Max for everything, or... Oh wait, am I going the right way? Can I still fast travel? I can! Great, okay. That saves me a massive trip. But every female character in this game is either dependent on Max entirely or just worthless in general. Like, Tenderloin was useful for one mission that I had to beat the crap out of her. There was Pink Eye, who's leading her own people, but kind of sucks at it. There is Hope, who basically is like, Max, you need to solve everything and then I'm going to be with you because the plot says so. It's not great writing, I'll be honest. Compared compared to the to the standard that the movie set, in all honesty. Am I going the right way? Why is the map sending me off in this direction? There we go, it's better. As for Chum Bucket here. I can totally understand why he feels betrayed, because he thought he was going to be hanging out with Max forever and building a supercar, but really you should have known Max is not the type of person to uh, have a sidekick. The hatchback better be here, and with the car, can I? should never, ever trust nobody. Yep. A little peek into Max's mind there. I'm sure this will go great. Yep, there's the car. Said right. Heaved my big block and my concubine. Not to mention the one who ran a saw blade into Lord Scabrus Scrotus's very brain bag, as if cutting dead stump. Saw your ride. Followed it here. We all followed it here. Found your monkey. And that monkey was made to sing! <laughs> About you, a woman, a child, a home, and a family. You must be the dad. Well, now, 
daddy's gonna die. Yeah, it's gonna work out great for you, won't it? So apparently Chum Bucket gave up glory, which is not great. Maybe not give up the innocent child, but I guess Chump Bucket's threshold for pain is rather low, all things considered. Left of it. There we go. What did he tell you? Oh, uh, audio desynced again. He heard that monkey song and he dug it about a little family. A woman and a child and a dog. Lord Scrotus is gonna hurt you more than you could ever hurt me. He's there right now, killing him slow. <laughs> In all sorts of tasty ways. I catch the shot. Lord Scrotus likes to tell. The audio desync kind of ruined the surprise of that one, but. Scrotus, being an amoral psychopath even before I gave him brain damage, hears that Max has himself uh, a little girl and a bigger girl, and it's going to kill them both. And since Gastown is right here, they're right here, and I'm way the fuck over here, it's a safe bet they're going to get to her before I do. Can I even fast travel? Yes, I can. I'm sure there's more dialogue I'm missing out on if I don't make the drive, but do you guys really want to watch me driving through the desert even more? I don't think you do. Out of curiosity, how much scrap do I have right now? Oh, not nearly enough. I'm probably not going to get the maximum upgrade for the engine unless I like turn the game off for a few days and wait for the scrap to accumulate offline, but... I think we're probably fine the way we are. No, no say, not back here. Yeah, Chum Bucket, you don't get a say in this anymore. Let's go somewhere else. Anywhere. I, I, there's nothing for us here. Please. Oh, no, 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 no. Too late. Scrotus 
Grace was here. Oh shit. It's a special kind of evil to crucify a child, and holy shit. No Hope did not do well. Name. Yes, I will. Yes, I will. I'll remember. I promise you. No. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. I want you to paint my name in their blood across the lands. Where is he? Burn to your veins. Where is he? Where is he? No mercy! So yeah, Max, if he was it ever holding on to a shred of sanity, it's gone now. <laughs> Hope and glory are gone, dead by the hands of Skurith, he will pay for this. He murdered them. Skrotus. I will have his blood. We're coming up on the end game here. The only thing left to do is finally kill Skrotus. And end him. But where is he? Nobody knows where he goes. Not today. Only his war boys know his path. His exiles and desperate unholy mutations. The blood the heck upside down in organic mechanics. He called him some scam. Was a war boy, he said. Was with Scrotus. He said so. Well, he'll know. Yeah, he'll know. And he will tell me. I'm not going to bother with the scrap here. There's really no point. So, yeah. Scab knows where Scrotus is going to be hanging out. So, let's go pay him a visit. There's also another trope I'm going to quickly touch on. It's called Stuffed in the Fridge. It's so noteworthy there is even a blog dedicated to it. And it's about female characters whose only goal in the story is to die so that they can inflict pain upon the main character. Yep, Max is about to have the final showdown. Make sure Max and Magnum Opus are woke up before proceeding. We're going to do this. Car is not fully upgraded, but it's as good as it, as it needs to be. All the weapons are upgraded. It's just the engine that's not great. Where's Scrotus? Scrotus, I will tell you where to find him. Your fame walks on its own, and your shadow has grown, and my blood has fueled legend. Scrotus is settled. On road slide of the Purgaty Flatlands. <laughs> Too weak, he said. A spent shell. Bring his corpus credits to the organic mechanic and let the blood serve. Now my blood returns for you, Scrotus. Now my blood returns. One last convoy run, but it's the big one. There he is! Oh, he's Are you sure about this? We gotta take out every last escort on this line. Thankfully. With an upgraded harpoon, a lot of these cars are about to just fucking. Paint my name in their blood. Paint my name. And thankfully, none of them are particularly strong, too. They've all got, like, armor one, armor two. 
But yeah, the goal is take off some tires, and that car is no longer a problem. Too many of his escorts left. Take his life like he took ours. Looking for a wheel to take off, or that guy, I'll take him. Okay, out ahead, that's fine. If I just stay out long enough, I can pick these guys off from the front. A little worried about driving to it. Yep, no, we're good. Do it. The only thing you know how. Kill. Kill him. Damn it. Missed. Okay, I have to get out of the car. Where's my car? I think I might miss the mission if he gets too far away. Thankfully, you can see just how fast Chum Bucket's up. He is uh, repairing the car now. I don't recognize this section of the map. Where the hell are we? Apparently we're not on the map anymore. If there is no map. Defeat Speed Screw Earth Vehicle with a V8 engine installed. That's the last one. Nope, there's no one more. There we go. Destroy the land mover. The shotgun or thunderpoon to destroy the fuel tanks. Thank you. Oh shit. Oh shit. Repair the car, please. I'll do that again for the other side, and then I think the land mover's toast. Oh, shit. Am I not wearing the armor I'm supposed to be wearing? Thank you, yes. Be a little bit slower, but I need to start taking less damage on the road here. So, for those of you who have seen Mad Max Fury Road, there are these hallucinations that Max has of um, a child in particular, and it's implied that uh, Glory is that child. There we go. And that he's haunted by the fact that he left that he left them alone and then they died as a result. There's also a version of that backstory in the comics as well, but I like this one better personally. Land Mover's about about to go off the cliff, but I need just a little bit of a push. 
life back into her lungs still. Black fingers will heal her, say. Come on! What were we? Jump bucket, you might want to get out of there. She will die. Get off. Never. I would rather breathe my last breath than watch her die. I am her protector, her savior. Jump bucket's going. If you destroy this car, you'll have to kill me too. And the game is gonna make me do it. There's no other way to end this, so we're just gonna have to go for it. No! Sorry, Chum Bucket. End it. You built a pretty sweet ride, but the ride's over. No, no! Chum Bucket's dead. The Magnum Opus is trash, but it's worth it. Because Scrotus is finally dead. Yep, there she goes. But what's this? It's the Interceptor! And Scrotus is totally fine. <laughs> So it wasn't even worth it. Not having any of that, thank you. Gonna need to get some of these thunder sticks. Bring the thunder. That was lucky. I see another one. First I saw you. I knew you would be the one to avenge my death. Yeah, it's quite clear Max has absolutely no concept of what the hell Glory would be, or Hope and Glory would be saying. Come on. Let's have it. Come on. So, thankfully that last hit knocked all the weird shit off the car. Probably dead, right? Just to be safe. Oh, damn, he ain't dead. Whoever pulls the chainsaw from the skull shall be king of the wasteland. Get the fuck out of my car. Share with family, goes right back up on the dash. God, we know where he's gonna put the snow globe. But 
now Max is exactly back where he started. At the, oh, nope, the snow globe's right there. Max is exactly back where he started at the beginning of the game. Minus some sanity. And minus, uh, I mean, this car is not bad, but I still prefer the Magnum Opus, personally, just because I have all the cool shit it had in it, even without Jump Bucket. But, there's no denying the, the appeal of the Interceptor, and yes, yes, this is Mad Max. This has been Mad Max, thank you. Fuck, Rocky, come on. You've been recording for three hours. Oh, God. I mean, I really like this game. I think in terms of the Assassin's Creed, Batman Arkham Asylum style of gameplay, the sandbox, it's, uh, it's very well done. I'll say that much. It would, normally, you'd expect this to be like some, like your typical licensed tie-in movie bullshit, but this one was was very well handled. I remember Penny Arcade raved about it when it came out. I think uh, even Yahtzee on Zero Punctuation gave it a pretty good review. I'm going to skip all this because really, who cares? Okay, the plan of silence await. Now, you've completed the story of Mad Max. Chum Bucket, along with the Magnum Opus and some other major characters, are back again. Feel free to continue exploring, tie up loose ends, and upgrade your car. So... New vehicle I have the interceptor. So here's Chum Bucket. The Magnum Opus is tuned up and ready to go. Alive again. We take her next. Just for the sake of doing other missions, like um You can still go off and do all of the other side questy stuff if you want to. Some upgrades were unlocked as you saw. We can now get Mad's or sorry, Max's iconic black leather jacket from the uh, from the movie series. As well as his actual uh, sawed-off shotgun, like the one that's purpose-built to be a shotgun. You can even see it right here. It only has the two shots instead of the four from this one. And uh, it is uh, better damage and faster reloads, so, though. So that's your, that's, that's your trade-off. And as you saw in the... Uh, if I go to the nearest stronghold, let's say Pink Eye's place. as the game quickly loads, because I need to wrap this up. Rather than taking out the Magnum Opus, we can choose a different vehicle. And where are you? Yep, the Interceptor. Let's just go ahead and show it. A survivor, a king among the mighty rollers, a machine with a thousand lives, a true spiritual arrival of the Magnum Opus. I want it. Okay, so here's the Interceptor. It's only got the three booths. It has no chum bucket whatsoever. But she is decently fast, as you can see. This is not a car to be trifled with. Again, downside being that you don't have your Thunderpoon, you don't have your side burners, you don't have any of your armor. But in terms of a stock vehicle, you can do a whole lot worse than the Interceptor. I'm gonna go ahead and park for a second. Because there's one last thing I want to point out. So Max's whole goal through the whole game has been to reach the Plains of Silence. Because he's, to his mind, it's the one place where he can go where the voices won't be there, where he can finally be at peace. And it's implied several times throughout the game that there really aren't any Plains of Silence and that he's basically chasing a dream. But when you really think about it and you check the map, when you finish clearing out the entire um, the entire game of enemy encampments and it's zero zero threat level across the whole thing, these kind of are the planes of silence. Like he's already there. He's a, he's a, he's as at peace as he's ever gonna be. And despite all that, he's still never really gonna be, you know, sane again. Kind of a bummer note to end on, all things considered, but quite honestly, knowing that we go straight from here into the events of the movie, 
where he gets completely jumped by Scrooge's man again, ostensibly as revenge for killing his son. And then uh, this car gets totaled on the ride back to the Citadel. The events of this whole game kind of amount to pretty much nothing, because all it really got him was some extra nightmares and a car that gets busted up the second he gets out of it again. So, yeah, this has been super worthwhile. Thank you guys for watching. I'm Paragon Rocky, and I will see you... Wait, hang on one second. Seriously? Come on. Wow. Come on. There we go. I've been Paragon Rocky, and I will see you next time.